Good morning, and welcome to the live streaming of Morning Prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Tequesta, Florida, on this Friday in Ordinary Time, June 13th, 2023. My name is Derek Larson. I'm the Associate Rector here at Good Shepherd and the officiant for today's service. The service is streamed live during the summer on Tuesdays and Thursdays and on major feast days, exclusively here on Zoom at 9 a.m. To participate in the live service, you can go to our website, goodsheponline.org, click on worship, then click on prayer in the drop down menu, and then you can scroll down. You'll find the service leaflet for today's service. You just have to look for today's date. And immediately above the service leaflets, there's an image of prayer books in the pews. You can click on the link to join uh, right there via Zoom. And we have the service bulletin for each uh, weekday even on the days when we are not praying together live. So uh, feel free to use those for your own personal prayer. If you're unable to join us for the live service, the recorded version of the service will be available beginning around 10 a.m. on all of Good Shepherd's communication channels on Facebook, on YouTube, and on our website, goodshepherdonline.org. Good to be with you. I see a few folks signed on today. Uh, hello, Joan. Hello, Julie. Hello, Ian and others that will be joining us soon, either live or, or later in the recorded version. It's good to have you praying with us today. Let's begin with a moment of silence to remind ourselves that wherever we are, we are in the presence of God. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with the song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. The psalms appointed for this morning are psalms both 61 and 62. Hear my cry, O God and listen to my prayer. I call upon you from the ends of the earth with heaviness in my heart. Set me upon the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. I will dwell in your house forever. I will take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. 
you have granted me the heritage of those who fear your name. Add length of days to the king's life. Let his years extend over many generations. Let him sit enthroned before God forever. Bid love and faithfulness watch over him. So will I always sing the praise of your name. And day by day, I will fulfill my vows. For God alone, my soul in silence waits. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold so that I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will you assail me to crush me, all of you together? as if you were a leaning fence, a toppling wall. They seek only to bring me down from my place of honor. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their lips, but in their hearts they curse. For God alone, my soul in silence waits. Truly, my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my safety and my honor. God is my strong rock and my refuge. Put your trust in him always, O people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Those of high degree are but a fleeting breath. Even those of low estate cannot be trusted. On the scales they are lighter than a breath, all of them together. Put no trust in extortion, in robbery, take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God has spoken once, twice have I heard it, that power belongs to God. Steadfast love is yours, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first lesson appointed for today is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verses 11 through 20. Surely this commandment that I am commanding you today is not too hard for you, nor is it too far away. It is not in heaven that you should say, who will go up to heaven for us and get it for us so that we may hear it and observe it. Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, who will cross to the other side of the sea for us and get it for us so that we may hear it and observe it? No, the word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for you to observe. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity, death and adversity. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I am commanding you today, by loving the Lord your God, walking in his ways and observing his commandments, decrees, and ordinances, then you shall live and become numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away, and you do not hear, but are led astray to bow down to other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you shall perish. You shall not live long in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Choose life so that you and your descendants may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying him and holding fast to him. For that means life to you and length of days so that you may live in the land that the Lord swore to give to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Second Psalm of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. 
and let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion, and to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Second lesson appointed is from the letter of Paul, the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians, 2 Corinthians so chapter 11, verses 1 through 21a. I wish you would bear with me in a little foolishness. Do bear with me. I feel a divine jealousy for you. For I promised you in marriage to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by its cunning, your thoughts will be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. For if someone comes and proclaims another Jesus than the one we proclaimed, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you submit to it readily enough. I think that I am not in the least inferior to these super apostles. I may be untrained in speech, but not in knowledge. Certainly in every way and in all things, we have made this evident to you. Did I commit a sin by humbling myself so that you might be exalted because I proclaimed God's good news to you free of charge? I robbed other churches by accepting support from them in order to serve you. And when I was with you and was in need, I did not burden anyone for my needs were supplied by the friends who came from Macedonia. So I refrained and will continue to refrain from burdening you in any way. As the truth of Christ is in me, this boast of mine will not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. And what I do, I will continue to do in order to deny an opportunity to those who want an opportunity to be recognized as our equals and what they boast about. For such boasters are false apostles, deceitful workers, disguising them as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is not strange if his ministers also disguise themselves as ministers of righteousness. Their end will match their deeds. I repeat, let no one think that I am a fool. But if you do, then accept me as a fool, so that I too may boast a little. What I am saying in regard to this boastful confidence, I am saying not with the Lord's authority, but as a fool. Since many boast according to human standards, I will also boast. For you gladly put up with fools, being wise yourselves. For you put up with it when someone makes slaves of you or preys upon you or takes advantage of you or puts on airs or gives you a slap in the face. To my shame, I must say, we were too weak for that. But whatever anyone dares to boast of, I'm speaking as a fool, I also dare to boast of that. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the canticle, you are God. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
the glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty and bounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not show whom you overcame the sting of and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. God's right hand and glory, we believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people. Bought with the price of blood and bless with your saints to glory everlasting. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. O oh God, from whom all good proceeds, Grant that by your inspiration we may think those things that are right, and by your merciful guiding may do them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this, to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity, and in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. We pray for our siblings in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of West Texas and the Episcopal Church. And the Right Reverend David Reed, their bishop, and also the bishop coadjutor elect, who happens to have the same name, David Reed. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida, and our bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our companion diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of the Dominican Republic, and the Right Reverend Moises Quezada Mota, and their bishop. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, 
bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today, especially Connie, Marion and family, Patty, Margaret and family, Nicholas, Gil, Emmy's family, Pamela, Jim, the Fitzgerald family, Fran, George, Jim, Charlie, Carol, Don, Kathy, and Philip. We pray also today for our Connect Ministries, remembering especially Curcio, that the men and women of Good Shepherd, through the power of the Holy Spirit, may experience Christian community with one another in the wider church, and for your groups, that the members of Good Shepherd may enjoy fellowship with one another. And we pray together our Good Shepherd Parish prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, make our parish of Good Shepherd truly a community of prayer and belonging. Raise up in our midst the resources and leadership which will enable us to act upon what you would have us do in this place and in a ministry of love and concern for others. Open my mind and heart to discern what you would have me do. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. We're praying for Kathy's son, Phil, with um, his seizure that he had this week. We pray for Jerry as he begins chemo, and Katie as she continues chemo. We pray for Megan, who has a new diagnosis of breast cancer, and with so many others as they face medical challenges. May God be with them in the midst of those challenges. We pray for our youth pilgrims and their chaperones as we prepare to travel to Nova Scotia on Friday. We continue to pray for our search committee, particularly as they move through this process of interviewing candidates. May you give them wisdom and discernment uh, as they listen for your voice. We're praying for Ian's friend, Jim, who's been diagnosed with stage four cancer. You would give him peace and healing. We pray for Joe Pellegrini, who is nearing the end of life. You would give him peace. We pray for the poor, that you may provide for them and teach us how to stand in solidarity with them. And we pray together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. 
we bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining morning prayer today. Uh, hope to see you on Thursday for morning prayer and on Sunday for worship together. Have a wonderful day.